are going to be looking at 18 proofs that God can be seen mm -hmm. in the scripture. Yes. There's actually quite a bit more. Yes, there is. We're going to be touching on uh, several of them. And the first one that we're going to jump right into is in Genesis chapter 18. And Miss G is going to read verses 16. what uh, yeah. six, seven, and eight. Yeah. The dinner oh. where God Himself came right. to dinner with them. Yeah, that's right. exciting. Yeah. So Abraham hastened into the tent to prepare and to quickly make three ready three measures of fine meal, kneel it, and make cakes. And Abraham ran to the herd, took the tender and good cat gave it to a young man and he hastened to prepare it. So he took butter and milk and the cat which he had prepared and set it before them. And he took and he stood by them under the tree as they ate. So one of the proofs that God has been seen um, is in Genesis chapter 18 verse 8. They did eat. Uh, God and angels eat in heaven. Right. Isn't that awesome? Right. Even in heaven they eat. Right. So why not on earth? You got plenty of scriptures to back it up. Exodus 24, uh, 9 through 11, where we're going to go next. Psalm yes. 78, 25. Luke 22, 16, 18, and 30. Luke 24, 30. Acts 10, 41. Hebrews 13, 2. It, it can't mean anything other than what it says. You have to take it literally. Oh, one of the great promises of Jesus Christ. After their bodies have been resurrected and glorified in heaven is the fact that we're going to be eating. In Luke twenty two thirty, it says that you may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom. Wow. So, I don't know about y'all, but that's exciting, especially the people that like to eat, right? Mm -hmm. So, again, Exodus 24, verses 9 through 11. It's right. a banquet with God the Father. It's the fifth ascent and the descent of Moses. This is, this is uh, pretty interesting here. Mm -hmm. All right, so Exodus uh, 24, 9 through 11, yes. Sister G. Yes. Then Moses went up, also Aaron, Nadab, and Ahab, Ahab Abihu. Abihu, and seventy of the elders of Israel. And they saw the God of Israel. Wow. And there was under his feet, as it was, a paved work of sapphire stone, and it was like the very heavens in its clarity. But on the nobles of the children of Israel, he did not lay his hand. So they saw God and they ate and drank. They saw God. Uh, now think think about it. You got um, Moses, Aaron, Nadab, Abihu, and 70 of the elders of Israel. So that's 74 right. human beings. Right. And it says they saw God. They saw God. So what does it mean they saw the God of Israel. What's that mean? Well, it means that 74, 75 witnesses actually seen him with their eyes and ate and drank with him on Mount Sinai. And it's another proof, there are hundreds in Scripture, that God has a personal body with bodily parts like a man. Pavement under his feet would require him to have feet, wouldn't it? Yes. Yes. If he laid not his hand upon the nobles, then he surely has hands. If they saw God, he must have a body to see. If they ate and drank with him, he provided a real tangible banquet on Mount Sinai. That is so cool. Uh, you know, we really have to accept these facts as true. If you're going to believe the Word of God, you're going to believe the Word of God. It's a fact. And, uh, I also just want to make this point. It's useless to try to explain this away. There's too many proofs in Scripture that God has a bodily presence. And we learn from Scripture 
that even God and angels eat and drink. Uh, verse 11, uh, Exodus uh, 24, 11. Genesis 18, 8. Genesis 19, 3. Psalm 78, 25. And you can compare that with Luke 18 and 30 and then all the way over in Revelation chapter 19, verses 6 through 10. So we have... Um, 18 proof scriptures here today and there are many more that God has a body he's been seen bodily and that he is real saints God is real you cannot just say he's a spirit nobody's no, ever seen him no. there wasn't and we'll get to this there was a superstition back then and I hear many people say it today I've said it myself God is uh, if you look upon God you will die uh, if you look upon God in all his glory, you might as well die. But when he appears as a man, we can look upon him and live. We need to get our facts straight. Yeah. So the 18 proofs that God can be seen. Number one, God has been seen with a body. Mm -hmm. If you look at uh, John chapter 4, 24, uh, if you really do some studying, you're going to find out that he's not just a spirit without hands and feet and a body. As a, we've already covered this. He has a soul, he has a spirit, he has a body. He has a voice and, and feelings just like we do. Uh, man was um, able to see that God bodily has a, an image of... Uh, not just a spirit image, but a physical bodily image. In Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 and 27, we covered that in a prior video, Saints. Uh, chapter, Genesis chapter 9, verse 6. And then if you'll look at um, Colossians 1.15 uh, in the New Testament. Man was made bodily in God's image, and God has a bodily presence. We just seen that God ate food with Abraham in Genesis 18:8. We we can prove these things over and over. Jacob wrestled with jo with God himself in Genesis 32:24. We've covered that. We just looked at 74 men eating with God on Mount Sinai in Exodus 24, 1 through 11, and we wrote reread 9 through 11. So let's, uh, also, Moses. Moses saw God face to face out of his glory in Exodus 33, 11, in 1 Timothy 6, 16. And he saw God's back parts when he requested to see his glory in Exodus 33, 18 through 23. So saints, we're just adding... Uh, the scripture to back up what we're telling you because it's not we didn't just come here to say okay we think that God has a body we're showing you in the scriptures the truth right. he has a bodily right. presence he has a spirit a soul and a body yeah. the next one also that we've covered Joshua and all of Israel isn't that amazing yeah. all of Israel what, what never ceases to amaze me is how we can see God face to face and know he's there and still disobey him. It's like Joshua and all Israel seen him in Joshua 5, 13 through 15. Uh, I think you mentioned earlier, we've all heard the story about Gideon. Gideon saw God in Judges 6, Judges chapter 6. And that is verses 11 through 23. I am going to read 22 through 24. And when Gideon perceived that he was an angel of the Lord, Gideon said, Alas, O Lord God, for because I have seen an angel of the Lord face to face. And the Lord said unto him, Peace be unto you. Fear not, thou shalt not die. Then Gideon built an altar there unto the Lord and called it Jehovah Shalom. Unto this day it is yet in Oprah of the Abizarites. Jehovah Shalom, the God of peace. And saints, it was an ancient superstition that if one seen God 
or an angel, he would die. But no man has ever died because they've seen God and no man ever will. Uh, that doesn't mean we're going to see him in his full glory because in our physical body we couldn't handle it. God uh, literally assured all men that seeing him would not bring death. And the angel departed bodily out of sight but continued to talk to get to Gideon. That is amazing. Yeah. Gideon winds up obeying God and we yeah. know what happened. Yeah. The saints, it's like many, many times and it's like, oh no, that's the angel of the Lord. That's not God. Well, study it out for yourself. Because I didn't come to argue with you. I come to point the scriptures out and point you to Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. That's all I, that's all I have to do. Show them the scripture. Let them figure it out for themselves. Uh, you said something about Samson's parents yeah. seeing him. Let's, uh, let's check it out. Samson's parents seen God. Mm -hmm. Judges 13, 3 through 23. I am going to read Judges 13, 22, and 23 for time's sake. But again, it was an ancient custom, a belief that if someone seen God or even an angel, that they were they were given a sign that they were going to die. Wow. But many times God proved this to be pure superstition. As the scriptures show in verses 22 and 23, and Judges 6, 22 and 23, and, and Genesis 32, 30. And there have been over 44, of, of 44 appearances of God, not one caused the death of anyone. But you're going to see what's so cool, how the wife, a man's wife, can really help him to, to be on the right path. Manoah's wife used better logic than Manoah did. And she said, if the Lord were pleased to kill us, he would not have received a burnt offering and a meat offering in our hands. Neither would he have showed us all these things. Wow. So let's check out where Gideon, I'm sorry, not Gideon, but Manoah and his wife, which were Samson's parents, seen God. Wow. In Judges uh, 13, 21 through 23 but the angel of the lord did no more appear to manoah and to his wife then manoah knew that 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 he was an angel of the lord and manoah said to his wife we shall surely die because we have seen god again she replies in verse 23 but his wife said to him if the lord were pleased to kill us he would not have received a burnt offering and a meat offering at our hands Neither would he have showed us all these things, nor would, as at this time, have told us such things as these. Again, they seen God. He had to appear to them to tell them they were going to have Samson and what to do and instruct them. I'm just, we're, we should be so thankful, saints, that we have not seen God, but we believe. And he said, Jesus said, those that believe and haven't seen they're going to be more blessed. That, didn't he say that? Yeah. Those that have not seen him, but they believe, that's us. Yeah. Woo! What a yeah. promise. Yeah. We need to latch on to that. Yeah. So we're still on 18 proofs that God can be seen. How about David in 1 Chronicles 21 16 and 17. Now everybody knows that David's seen yes. God. Yes. This is this is a, like an old standby, but all of these appearances of God to people. Wow. Makes you more aware. Well, you hear it, but then you forget. But then when you read it again, and then you read it in different um, in different versions of you know, the Bible. I don't have the sheet of it. Well, it goes right back to Romans 10, 17. Right. Faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. So you got to have ears to hear yeah. and eyes to see. And you have to trust what the Scripture says. That's right. Read it in context, saints. Go back and look at all of these Scriptures, not just yeah. the ones that we're briefly touching yeah. on. King David saw God in First Chronicles 21, 16, and 17. 
where he sees the, the destroying angel and prays for mercy because of his sin. And David lifted up his eyes and saw the angel of the Lord stand between the earth and the heaven, having yeah. a drawn sword in his hand stretched out over Jerusalem. Then David and the elders of Israel, who were clothed in sackcloth, fell upon their faces. And David said unto God, Is it not I that commanded the people to be numbered? Even I it is that have sinned and done evil indeed. But as for these sheep, what have they done? Let thine hand, I pray thee, O Lord my God, be on me and on my father's house, but not on thy people, that they should be plagued. I want to ask you a simple question, saints. What if the pastors and the preachers and the leaders and the government officials would go to God and say, you know what? I'm the one that sinned against you, Father. Do not hold this to their account. Check it out. David did it. Yes. And that's, that's like uh, Todd White. I mean, he's repented, saying that he hadn't taught the true gospel. Benny Hinn. And, um, yes, they're the ones that need to be repented for what they've done. Well, when you truly repent and you do like David did, yes, is it not I that commanded well, the people took, to be numbered? He took accountability. He said, yeah. He he took it. She said he took yes, accountability. He, yes, and he was wrong. Well, he spoke. David spoke directly to God, and this is the way it should be. Yes. You don't need to go through any mediator. No. You don't no. have to go to no priest, no preacher. No, okay. No. Go to Jesus Christ right. of Nazareth and con confess yes. and repent. Right. He's the only mediator between God and man in 1 Timothy 2, 4 right. and 5. Uh, I don't think that people are reading the Bible, especially the leaders uh -huh. and the pastors and the preachers and uh -huh. the, the prophets and the apostles no. and the teachers. Where are you, saints? Get in your Bible Get in the Holy Scriptures and figure this out. We've been lied to. We've been exactly. brainwashed. David saw God and repented yes. on behalf of the people. Please don't kill the people, God. No. Yes, I'm my, the one that's in trouble. I'm the one that injustice. did it. But he's the leader. He's the king. He's, yes. the, he's the... He's where the rubber meets the road on earth. But I want to see how many pastors are going to be repenting. Oh, I'm too holier than thou for that. Mm -hmm. I done done my repent. With... Okay, well, I'm just going to keep praying and repenting, okay? Because yeah, when I get to the bottom of myself, then maybe God can take me home pure and clean. Yes. I just praise God he makes us pure and clean on earth so that we can see him. Yes. But it's called a life of obedience. Yes. So we need to, we need to move on. Yes. Job, seeing God in Job 42, 5. Mm -hmm. Do you have that? Yes. Read that. It says, I have heard of you by the hearing of the ear, but now my eyes see you. And what did he do in verse 6? Therefore I abhorred myself and repent and dust and ashes. <laughs> Job's like, dude. He did the same thing. I've, I've heard you. And I've heard about heard you. you. Just like Romans 10, 17, faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of the Lord. Right. Well, he didn't have no written scripture back then. So Job believed God and trusted God because he knew he had a relationship with him. But he said, I've heard of you by the hearing of my ear. But now I'm seeing you. you. Woo! And I repent. He said, I abhor myself. myself. Yeah. And I repent in dust and ashes. Let me question if, if Job had ever seen God before that, wouldn't we have seen somewhere? Oh, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. If he had had a misunderstanding about the person of God that he was now being enlightened in, in verse right. 5, and declared he had heard of him by the hearing of the ear, but now my eyes have seen these, mm -hmm. uh, seen thee, God made a visible appearance to him, and Job was able to see his bodily form. Yeah. God is a little literal person, saints. He is a little literal person with bodily parts, and has been it's been proven many times in scriptures. Job, I have heard of thee by the hearing of the ear, but now my eyes have seen you. 
and I abhor myself and repent in dust and ashes. King David repenting for, the part he did. for what he did, for not to hold it against the people. Job repenting yes. for himself. Yes. We need to take accountability. Yes. And we need to understand God can come and smack us down, but that's not how he operates this day and age. But he chastises us yes, he for does. us to come humbly yes, to repent, does. to be contrite and broken. Yes. yes. But we have we shouldn't have to see him because Jesus said we have to do it by faith. Right. And this walk. is awesome. We Miss have to Miss walk G. By faith. What? Walk by faith. One more time. Walk by faith. Not by sight. That's right. I it's not what I'm seeing, it's what I know. No. Ha ha, that's good. Uh, we're on 18 proofs that God can be seen. Isaiah saw and described God in Isaiah chapter 6. Read it, saints. Amos saw the Lord in Amos 9.1. Go read Amos 9.1. Read the whole thing. Read it in context. Ezekiel Describe God in Ezekiel 1 26 through 8, uh, 28, Ezekiel 10 20, Ezekiel 40 and 3, with 43 7 and 47 1 through 6. That's a lot of Ezekiel seeing Which God. Sure did. Okay? Whew. And people want to ascend to the throne of God and see God. Oh. Uh, no. no. God said the secret things belong to God and what That's he has God. revealed to us is for us right. and everybody wants to, to read all these different extra books and do all this extra stuff but my, I know my father in heaven told me no Leslie those that believe without seeing whoo that's what faith is about, saints. Is. If he's got to come and poke you in the eyes, that's not faith. <laughs> so, I, you know, I ain't going to argue with folks. Ezekiel described him in many times. Daniel, the 15th proof that God can be seen. Book of Daniel. This, Daniel described God. Even his clothes, his body, his hair. Wow. Daniel 7, 9 through 14, we've already covered that. Yeah. And Daniel 10, yeah. 5 and 6. But let's let's jump to the New Testament. Woo. How about Stephen? Stephen it. seen God and Christ in Acts 7, yeah. 56 when they were stoning him to death. Yeah. I did a video on this. I don't have yeah. to cover this one again. Yeah. I did a whole video on yeah. it. They killed him because he told them what they were and who they were and basically they from the their father the devil but let's skip forward to the 17th and 18th proof that god can be seen and there's many more scriptures other yes, than 18. Yes. john described god in revelation chapter 4 verses 2 through 5 and 5 1 through 7. Immediately I was in the spirit, right in front of me was a throne in heaven, and there was someone sitting on it. Wow. The one who sat on it had the appearance of jasper and carnelian, a rainbow resembling an emerald encircled the throne. Woo! Revelation 4, 2-4, verse 4. And encircling the throne were 24 other stones, and there were 24 elders sitting on them. They were dressed in white cloaks and had gold crowns on their heads. So he's seeing God and the 24 elders. Wow. Oh! Flashes of lightning, rumblings, and claps of thunder issued out of the throne. There were seven flaming torches burning in front of the throne. These are the seven, the, ooh, the seven spirits of God. Hallelujah. And if you drop down to chapter 5, verses 1 through 7... And I saw on the right hand of him who sat on the throne a book with writing on both sides. It was sealed with seven seals. And I saw a powerful messenger proclaiming in a loud voice, Who is worthy to break the seals and open the book? But no one in heaven or in earth or under the earth could open the book or even look inside it. I cried and cried because no one could be found who was worthy to open the book or look inside it. Woo! I don't know about y'all, but I feel the presence of yes. God Almighty, El Shaddai. Yes. Then one of the elders said to me, Don't cry. 
the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, conquered in order to open the book in its seven seals. Wow. And I saw a lamb looking as if it had been slain, standing in the middle of the throne, encircled by the four living creatures and the elders. He had seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent out to all the earth. He came and took the book from the right hand of him who sat on the throne. I'm going to read further. When, the, when he took the scroll, the four living creatures and the 24 elders fell down woo, ah, ah, in front of the lamb. Ah, each one had a harp and they were holding golden bowls full of incense, which are the prayers of the people devoted to God. That's us. Wow. And they sang a new song. You are worthy to take the scroll and open the seven seals because you were slain and you have brought you have bought us for God by your blood from every tribe, language, people, and nation. You have made them a kingdom realm and priests to our God and they will reign upon the earth. And I could go on and on. Oh, I just yes. brings me to tears. Yes. I understand why John the Revelator would be crying. Oh yes. All will see God. Revelation twenty one mm -hmm three and four and I heard a loud voice from the throne saying the tabernacle of God is with humans and he will live with them and they will be his people God himself will be with them and be their God and he will wipe away all tears from their eyes there will be no more death misery crying aloud or pain because the former things of past have passed away he who was sitting on the throne said I am making everything new he said, write this down because these words are trustworthy and true. Ah, they are trustworthy and they are true, Father. Ah, how can you not receive what thus saith the Lord? In Revelation 22, 4, they will see his face and his name will be on their foreheads. Ah. Thank you, Lord. Lord yes. I'm not taking no mark in my no. forehead or my right hand his because his name, name is written, Janetta. His our, name is written, written in our forehead. forehead. Ah. Right. And he's going to give us the power and the strength right. to, to endure to the yes. end. Yes. Hallelujah yes. to the Lamb of God. He says that. Oh. I don't know about you, honey, but the presence of God is real. Yes, it is. Hallelujah. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. I'm just going to lift up your name for a minute, Father. You are worthy. Yes. You yes. have given us a crown. He said that he that has any sense in his head at all is going to be a soul winner and earn crowns to throw at Yahushua's feet. Oh, yes. we are going to be with you forever and yes. eternity. Yes. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Lord. 18 proofs, yes. Father God, 18 proofs that you have a God, yes. a, a bodily presence of God, that people have seen you. And Father God, that we can look upon your face and we yes. know that we have your name written in our forehead and we are never going to die, but we are going to live and we are yes. going to proclaim your glory yes, Lord. now on earth and forever Ever. and eternity. Father God, Thank we just you, lift Lord. up the name of Yahushua Hamashiach, who is the Lord of Lords who is the king of kings we worship you lord we yes. adore you lord we lift up the name that is above all names hallelujah to the lamb of god we thank you lord for life we thank you lord that there is no chaos there is no confusion no. there is nothing that can touch us father no. god we're going to endure to the yes. end we're going to proclaim your grace we're going to proclaim your glory we're yes. going to proclaim Jesus is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Hallelujah to the Lamb of yes, God. Lord, I am overcome you. with the presence of the Most High God. Yes. You can't make this stuff up. Hallelujah. 
For as David repented in sackcloth and ashes. For as Job repented in sackcloth and ashes. Father God, that we would repent yes. in sackcloth and ashes. And ask you to have mercy, 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 mercy Father God. Have mercy on us. Yes, and Lord, give us grace. To have mercy on others. Yes, Lord. To have mercy on others. Yes, Lord. And Lord, help us to endure to the end. Amen. Yes, Jesus. 